on two. Brought to you by Cruise Chevrolet, Steen Enterprises, and McDonald's. What a night, what a night, what a night. Hello, high school football fans. It is the first Friday in November, and that means we're about to say goodbye to the regular season, but what a way to go out. I'm Brendan Clark along with News 2's Evan West, and we got the game of the year tonight. That's right, Brendan. It is a battle of two undefeated teams, and on the line, the region title and the higher playoff seating, of course. Right. Here are some of the storylines we are following tonight. Not one loss between Fort D and Ashley Ridge, but there is now. It's our game of the week. Plus, Somerville had to win tonight or not make the playoffs for the first time in decades. Both Hanahan and Bishop England looking to wrap up region titles, but they both have to win on the road. Plus, Giza playoffs have begun and we've got your highlights. Yeah, but let's get to the game. All the two days in August, the sweat, the hard work, it leads us to where we are right now, and that is the swamp. Undefeated Fort Dorchester, undefeated Ashley Ridge. We live streamed it on our website. Now we watch what happened. Now we expected a lot of points and DeCarry and Joyner delivered. DeAndre Champagne popping the cork, the first score of the game. Seven nothing, Fort was on top. Fans are going nuts over 8,000. Back comes to Ridge, Stephen Duncan to Alvin Hollingsworth. This is a tie game, but not for long. Joyner calls his own number, finds a big hole, and gets the ball past the goal line before going down. That was 13 to seven. The P-Men patrolling. After another stop, Joyner, he has an arm. Champagne has hands, and he also has speed. Fort Dorchester scores another touchdown. That would make it 20 to seven. Steve LaPrad. He's taking all in stride. The P-Men running away with it. Not if Stephen Duncan can help it. End of the first, Duncan makes the great touchdown toss, but he was over the line of scrimmage when he threw the ball and got called back. In the third now, the wheels just fell off at the swamp. Daytron James for Fort D. Four touchdowns Ooh. in the third quarter You're alone. Lying. Fort D wins this going away, 47 to seven. It's their first ever undefeated regular season. They are the region champs while Ashley Ridge suffers their first loss of the season. Well, it's always good to be undefeated. Uh, you know, I think this answers you know, we, you know, I told them when we came in here, when we left here, we didn't want to have any downers. And uh, we still got some, I don't know what else we can do. Keep on win, coach, and that's all I'll take. Berkeley County bragging rights as the resurgent Goose Creek Gators visit Stratford 14 to seven nights in the second. Here comes the Creek, Dom Jefferson to Tyreek Martin. Bah, ties it up 14 all. Back comes Stratford though, the word course, J.D. Davis zigzags his way into pay dirt. Can't get back on his feet, but he's already scored a touchdown, so it doesn't matter. 21-14, less than a minute before the half. A lot of scoring here at the end. The Gators dial up the reverse to Martin and Look at this play just kind of develop on its own. Number 80, just chugging along, putting a few face masses in the dirt. Excellent blocking downfield. He gallops him for another touchdown. Stratford led 21-20 at the half, but Goose Creek takes it. Outright region champs, 35-21, you're fine. The Creek running over there. Kane Bay coming off their win at Wando last week, back home against West Ashley, playing for second place in Region 7. Kane Bay's punter mishandles the snap, and West Ashley takes advantage Forget the Wildcat nickname, they are the Wild Cards. Tyquan Campbell, the receiver, to the other receiver, TKL Holmes, who spins in for the score. It's 6-0, pending the extra point about that. This kick blocked right here. That sometimes ends up being a difference in the game, but not this one. West Ashley wins 35-28. Charleston Mayor Joe Riley stepping down after 40 years. Impressive number until you realize Somerville hasn't missed the playoffs since five years before Riley's first term. Here the Villas. Take it on Bluffton. They had to win tonight or that streak was over. Tonight, Bluffton on the board first. It's a touchdown for the Bobcats. That's number three, Tyrone Sandgren. Push Bluffton, lead 13-0. Now watch this. Bobcats kicking it off and Somerville on the return. Derek White, I know it's hard to see in the fog, but Derek's got the vision. Taking it at the 16-yard line. When will he be brought down? Never. He's going all the way, it looks like, and uh, actually he's going to be pushed out of bounds in the 15. Can so. we zoom the camera in a little yeah, bit, Yeah, maybe a little bit. A little wide view here, but Somerville gets on the board right here, 14-6. to six. Still in the first half, uh, Somerville would go on to tie it up, 14-14. All right, after this play. So uh, long story short, Somerville is going to win this game. It might take forever for you to find out, but Somerville wins this game 31-21. They are playoff bound. 
Next stop, Wando, James Allen, the Trojans coming out that great win over Stratford. Warriors up 35 to seven at the end of the first half, but aren't done scoring. Riley Ellsworth, nice catch over the middle, right? For Bailey Hart. Later in the drive, Hart takes a hard hit. Watch this, he's scrambling, trying to find someone, couldn't. Taken down, Pierce to hurt his shoulder. Joseph Generate comes in and does his best Bailey Hart impersonation. He scampers in from 11 out. This made it 42 to seven. Wando, Wando, what team is gonna show up? You never know. Hart later seen a sling on the sideline. There he is right there. End of the third quarter now, James Allen trying to keep it respectable. Jordan McDaniel takes the pop pass from uh, Brody Shelburne all the way to Pater. Not enough though, as Wando rolls at home. Wando wins at 42 to 17. Up to Monk's corner, Buford at Berkeley. We pick it up in the first quarter. Buford leading seven to nothing, stags on the attack. DJ Chisholm, so crafty, we can't keep up. Where is the guy? Ah, there he is, he finds some space for the touchdown. It's seven to six. Berkeley can't get the extra point. All right, later in the game, it's the second quarter, tied at 14, Darius Douglas. Double D. Taking it in, calling his own number to give Berkeley a 20 to 14 lead, but you need a little defense to hold on to that lead and Berkeley did not have it, at least right here. Omar Cummings on the handoff. Looks like he's going down. Whoop, there he is, outrunning everyone. He escapes four Berkeley defenders, and it's a track mate that he wins. Buford runs away with it, 56-42. Up to North Charleston for Garrett and Academic Magnet. The Raptors making some noise on the sidelines, but they got silenced on this play by Garrett running back Abraham Dozier. Can't handle the ball but he picks it up and he is all the way downfield in for six points. That is nasty. Garrett with a 12 nothing lead over Academic Magnet. Ensuing kickoff, the Raptors go-to guy. We've called this guy's name quite a bit, Nate Schlosser. He gets the kickoff, cuts up field right here. Who's gonna catch him? Nobody. He wouldn't stop running until he crosses the goal line. Made it a 12-6 game, very competitive one that Academic Magnet goes on to win 34 to 28. Had some great highlights from week 11. I don't know if anyone expected Ford Dorchester to do what they did to Ashley Ridge tonight. They're that good. 40 points, 47 to seven. Man, they even kind of took their foot off the gas and still scored at ease. Pretty impressive win up there for Ford Dorchester. Still to come on the Blitz on too. Got more games from around the low country. The second season in skis of football. We're talking playoffs when we come back. Also, awesome game from down in Hilton Head. We got Hannah Ann Hilton Head highlights coming your way. Stay with us, you're watching the Blitz on two.